Ain't no half stepping. Ain't no half stepping, Marcus J. We're back. Thank you so much for hanging in there with us. To get in on the discussion, 804-447-0601. Global Scale Radio dot net. Um before we go into the next segment, I got something that I really want to kind of get off my chest. My brothers here don't have no idea what I'm about to say, and I'm just going to go ahead and kind of spit it out. Um, I was having a discussion with someone yesterday who I trust. I trust their opinion, um, but on this one, I think that they're way off base. Um, I think they lost their damn mind, and I really need to put this to some other people to kind of assist us with kind of settling this um, rather serious debate so I'm just going to put it out there um, Big Rule I'm going to ask you first um, K-Dub and I was having a discussion yesterday uh oh so he done lost his mind it, well just, just just rock with me okay alright I, I mean he probably didn't know I was going to bring this up but he, he probably knows now and you know for the listeners K-Dub is on the line Big Rule who would win a fight between Superman and Iron Man are you kidding me I am very serious. Superman will destroy Iron Man. Carlton Banks, who would win a fight between Superman and Iron Man? Who who came up with this question? Just answer it, man. Superman. Wow. K Dub, did you hear what my brothers just said? That is delusional. <laughs> delusional? What you talking about, man? Listen, man, listen. Iron Man will he will he listen, man. Iron Man. First of all, you know, if if if, if Iron Man has the ability to get kryptonite. Superman is around the corner with his tail, with his, with his, with his, with his cape up between his legs, man. Understand that. And this man has money. So let's just say Tony Stark builds a, a, a suit made of kryptonite. Okay. Anybody, anybody, uh, uh, you know. K-Dub. Anybody thought about that? K-Dub. He's, first of all, he's got to get to the kryptonite. Okay. The better question you should have asked is who wins a fight between Superman and the Hulk? We're not talking about okay. Superman and the Hulk. Yeah, but you bring Iron Man. Stay on top. Dude, understand, when, when, when the, the genesis of the question was, myself and Marcus were sitting down watching television. Well, he was watching Superman. And, and, and you know, all my life I've known him, and Superman has always been his guy. Well, Iron Man is my guy. So, we got into a very spirited conversation about who was, was a better superhero. And if you are a smart, conscious, conscious individual, you will agree with me and say Iron Man will beat Superman. Okay, K-Dub. You know what, listen, I'm, I'm, I, I know I cut you off, but I'm going to say this. Superman has to get dressed in the phone booth. Can 10 people tell me the last time they seen the phone booth? <laughs> okay, K-Dub, let me ask you this question. You saw the Avengers, right? I seen it. Okay. Did you not see Thor beat up on Iron Man? Hey, yo. We're not talking about Thor. I'm just asking you a question. Hey, Dub. Hey, Dub. If Superman punches Iron Man in that battery powered heart, it's all over, bro. Oh. <laughs> it's all over. Okay. Yeah, whatever. But this man can fly. Listen, man. Tony Stark got the money as well as he can go and go get the kryptonite from, from whatever planet that, that, you know, I'm not really uh, too, too familiar with that. He, you got talking about kryptonite. he got the cream to make a kryptonite suit. So how are you going to tell me that, you know... So, so Tony Stark, Tony uh, Stark is going to fly to a planet that's blown up. He's going to go out in space. First of all, he's got to make a Geiger counter to find kryptonite. Isn't Tony Stark the same dude whose battery-powered bodysuit conked out on him when he tried to go in out of space. And he's too but he's smart made to lose to Superman, man. All you gotta do is maybe put Lois Lane in the, in the, in the sleeper hole or something like that. And <laughs> from straight kitty cat, man. All right, all right. Just keep it funny. All right, well, it's real. As, as a comic book dude, myself, I'm gonna be honest with you, and I'm, I'm sorry, man. I ain't trying to hurt no feelings, but it goes down just like this. Superman, Iron Man fight. Iron Man hangs out for a little bit, yada yada yada. About two seconds. No, Iron Man hangs out, and Iron Man's pretty tough. It's not even about smarts right here. It's about one. Okay, let's say if he can get some kryptonite. Let's just say he can get some kryptonite. Now, Superman can fly. Superman's strong. Superman's heat vision. Also, 
Superman has a whole bunch of other little powers that he never really uses, like his freeze breath, which he would freeze Iron Man in his nice little suit. Then he obviously uses heat vision to heat it up, which will destroy his suit. Because as we know, if you heat up something that's really cold, it's going to blow. You've been watching Fantastic Four. Man, it's real. It's real. That's science, my brother. I know it is. That's called high school science. Now, I understand the fact that you feel that Iron Man is the smartest man on the planet. Yes. I feel that he has the best toys on the planet. Yes. But let's just be honest, man. Superman draws his power from the sun. You would have to beat this dude up, number one, at nighttime. Number two, it took Doomsday like a day to beat this dude up so bad that it killed him. Do you really think Iron Man's got anything in his repertoire to do that, number one? And number two, Superman already has an arch nemesis called Mentalo, who basically has a kryptonite heart, who Superman's beaten so many times it's not worth talking about anymore. And he's basically built like Iron Man, except he can't fly. Now, he can't fly. He can't Metallo cannot fly. Iron Man can't fly. Iron Man can fly. I'm talking about Metallo. We ain't talking about Metallo. Let's keep it to the... I'm being, no, I'm just being honest. You sitting here, you saying that Tony Stark can do this, Tony Stark can do that. Superman has fought people just like Iron Man before. And, and we I They may not whip their butt, but he will beat them. And unfortunately, let's just be honest with you, Superman can fight for like a week at a time. Tony Stark still got to eat. <laughs> Stay back to the bathroom. They, 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 you, you talked about the, the whole cold breath or whatever like that. I guess you forget about, I, I can't really be more specific, but you, you forget about the beam that comes through his hand. You can stop it. You're talking about the person away. He's got the person away. He's got the And he's got the human being coming from his chest. And he always got these nice little toys. But this is where I am going to run out of power. Alright, let me, let me, let me, let me add a little levity here. Dub, uh, we had this debate yesterday. Uh, in person, we having it online. Uh, online here, we had it on the internet. You know, people made their comments, and we won't call any of them out because they didn't give us permission to do so. It ended up being a draw there, but you know what? I think we just bust your ass on the air just now. That's just my thought. What you? Man, whatever, yo. How about I get kicked off this show and start saying some explicit expletives <laughs> about the Iron Man, Iron Man winning? How about that? Oh man, go ahead, man. Well, who we wins between Green Lantern? We're talking about them, man. I win between that. How about that? Who? Shut it down. We talking about Iron Man and Superman. Iron Man. All right, Doug. Tell you what. How about we say? How about we say it's a draw? How about that? What? How about that? I take the draw because I'm really looking at all of this. I see you won. I take the draw. Now, I mean, I'm yeah. man. Hold on. How about this? How about this? How about we squash it all and let's just say who gonna win out of here on the mark? How about that? Hey, yo, man. You don't want to go there. My daughter take karate. I will have her come after you for real. I don't know why I fight. <laughs> I forgot, forgot Dragonfly. Dragonfly. Yeah. Hey, hey, you know Dragonfly sit here with me. So there you go. All right. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, yo. You, hey, Mama J is growling at Uncle Dub, yo. Hello? Mama J is growling at you, man. She growling at you. She gave you the show up. She gave you the show. She know it's all love. She know it's all love. She know it's all love. Alright, one more thing before we get into basketball. Today, um, Maurice Jones Drew decided that he didn't want to come to, to practice today. Wherefore, because he wants a new contract. He led the NFL wrestling last year with 1,600 yards. He gets paid $4.58 million this year, $4.68 million next year. What's up with this holding out, man? Who is it really helping? Who is it hurting? I just need some opinions because me, I don't hold out. It's completely stupid because you end up losing money. And then, you know, you say, I know banks are saying, hey, well, he left the living last year and he deserves to get paid. Look, you found a contract three years ago to make about $4 million a year. On your contract and just stop being a little girl. No offense, Mama J. But, I mean, I'm just being real. Opinions. My thing is this. The man wants his money, okay? He's First of all, he's the only thing in Jacksonville right now, okay? The dude they drafted got in trouble already for a DUI, right? Man, get over that. Okay, you know. man, get over it. Hey, the truth is the truth, okay? It's just like Matt Forte. Matt Forte, are you going to say Matt Forte doesn't deserve his money? Matt Forte is not is a free agent. Okay. He can do that. Okay, but does he deserve his money from Chicago? Yes, he does. He does, okay. but, I mean, he also doesn't have a contract right now. 
If you have a contract, you honor your contract. Well, I feel like going to work today so I can just go ahead and call out and not come back to work until you pay me enough to come out. What kind of crap is that? But see, the thing is, what you're forgetting, Ruben, they still get penalized. If they don't show up to work, they get fined. He would have fined a total of $60,000. Out of $4.58 million, that ain't jack. Okay, you let it add up. Once again, $4.58 million, that's not even... That's not even like a tenth of his four million dollars. Four point five million dollars, man. Come on. But the really? fact of the matter is, he gets fined that for how many times? The oh, maximum they can fine him is sixty thousand dollars. That's the maximum. That's the maximum. Okay. So, uh, and then all he did was check. He might as well just cut a check through now. I'm saying, why are you hold it like Jackson last year for Philadelphia? Garbage. Why are you sitting there holding out, taking penalties? I mean, you get a contract. Fill out your contract. Do what you got to do. I mean, I got a contract with my with the people I work for. You don't see me holding out. I don't know. That's, I mean, because that's, that's because of the fact that you know, if you were to hold out, that means that you're not going to have a job and you got to go look for a job. Whereas football, if they hold out, let's say they get cut, hey, time nine times out of ten, they're going to get picked up somewhere else. I understand that, but if, you know, how how much is too much, man? You're getting four point five eight million dollars a year. Hey, hey, I'm on your side, dog. But right. you know what? I also was was real ironic about this is that you know we're dealing with a sport that doesn't have guaranteed contracts, and if you look at all of the sports across the board, um, you don't really have this issue with uh, 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 basketball players. You don't really have this issue with baseball players. But it's just that in this particular sport, every year you have. You know, a, uh, a, a you have someone holding out for what reason? Me not being a football uh, player, I really don't know. I don't really know it's what the what the uh, what we, what room that they had to negotiate. You know, maybe if they stopped making these contracts, saying that I need to be the, the highest paid uh, running back or highest paid uh, wide receiver in the league. You know, you have to understand if you have that in your contract, and let's say you know someone gets signed for. So and so amount of million dollars or whatever you got to get at least a dollar above that. I, I don't know, just my opinion. Let me just get the last word on this one. I want to go ahead and move on. We're going to take a break and then we're going to get into the National Basketball Association. As far as holdouts, I mean, I, I got mixed feelings on it because my part of me feels like if you sign a contract, you sign the contract, you need to honor your contract. All of that holding out is kind of whack to me. But at the same time, I understand that the only leverage that the player may have is to hold out because there is precedent for him or for him to 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 get a, another contract or to get more money or t, uh, to do what it is he feels that he needs to do if his market value has changed since the time he signed the contract and you get somebody who's clearly putting up lesser numbers than he is that's getting more money so part of me kind of understands that uh, but I also know you got a shorter shelf life in football as well whereas you sign a 10 20 a 10 year contract in, ba- in baseball you make it twenty million at the end of the you know five years. You know if somebody is making twenty five, you just kind of out of luck. But the difference is, like you said, Dub, it's guaranteed money, so you at least know you're going to get it. Whereas in the National Football League, you can sign a contract, you know, but the owners could cut you, and all of that, you know, guaranteed money. You might get a small piece of it up front, but you know they can cut you. So the only leverage that you may have to protect your livelihood and to protect yourself is to decide to not show up in camp. So we're gonna go ahead. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and leave it there. We're gonna take a break real quick. And when we come back, uh, I got a question for K Dub uh, that is gonna predate the. Uh, we're gonna talk about the question I had before the the actual final NBA finals. Another thing that he and I talked about when we were together this weekend. Marcus J. You know, has step and be back in a minute. Temporarily being held in the station due to cross signals. We will be moving shortly. Thank you. 